We are here with head women's golf coach Todd Lawton as USC Upstate prepares to open up the spring portion of the 2011-12 schedule in the Courtyard JU Classic down in Jacksonville starting on Sunday. Coach, obviously you had a coming off of a, of a couple month break since playing down in Florida uh, at the beginning of November. Talk a little bit about how the team uh, is hitting the ball right now as we get ready to start the spring. As we started the spring, we've actually had a, a great opportunity with the weather that we've had to, to practice a lot. and um, We've had some opportunities also to, to work inside and, and, and do some specific things with swings. But, uh, you know, we've really kind of changed the philosophy around to, uh, you know, let players talk to us about what they're specifically wanting to work on and golf is so individual and you know so much mental preparation that we've we've tried to change a gear a little bit and and you know really let our players work on what they need to work on and specifically with us um, so we're, we're looking forward to this spring I know that in the fall uh, the team posted a 319 stroke average that's actually the second best stroke average in the division one era um, and one of the best in program history now in its seventh year um, in existence. So um, you have to be pretty encouraged by that and the fact that, that the team's been able to post some really low scores well below the stroke average. Absolutely. I think, you know, we're, we're still very young, but uh, there's a lot of talent and, and, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, I think players who, who want uh, to be great and to want to do good things. And, and they're coming together as a team very well. They they like to practice together, and uh, um, but I think uh, I think the difference is is just the the talent coming in here. Uh, they were better, and I think we've had a little bit uh, better success um, uh, ramping them up and and being better prepared as well. Obviously, um, you have three sophomores who are who are leading the way on the team with uh, um, Taylor Plyer. Rachel Lewis and Amanda Hall, but you also have Brittany Lau, uh, who is who is uh, playing pretty well as well, um, and Christy Goodman seems to be coming on um, in that in that fifth spot. I know that that fifth spot is a much needed uh, spot for you to actually get some some solid performances. Yeah, I think uh, you know having the, the three sophomores basically they played in pretty much every event. You know Amanda Taylor and, and Rachel last year, uh, so they're familiar with it. Um, you know they've got a lot of self-discipline both on the course and obviously in the classroom. Um, so we're looking forward to, to just growing that. And then uh, the addition of, of Brittany, of course, was she's just so consistent in the fall. Um, you know, played really well in most every tournament. Um, you know, works hard, practices, uh, very good ball striker. And Christy, you know, came off her best best round, the very last round of the fall down in Florida and. and you know, playing in that five spot, you know, looking for her to move up and, and help. And it's, it's going to be very nice to have, you know, all five players competing for those four spots. Uh, it gives us a little bit more maybe wiggle room on the course because we can't make substitutions. But, uh, um, you know, looking forward to having all five compete. I know that you and Coach Church uh, spend a lot of time in the indoor practice facility trying to uh, make some improvements uh, to that facility. Um, and I know that you guys have been able to use that even though we've had some pretty good weather. I know you guys have been able to use the indoor practice facility. Talk a little bit about that and what the benefits are um, um, that the team now has a practice facility that they can go indoors when needed. Yeah, we, we, you know, we've, we, we had the building since last fall and we were able to, you know, redo our, our netting and, and, you know, capabilities to be able to do some putting and we've got some video systems that we can install and it's still a little bit of a working process but, uh, uh, um, you know, Coach Church has really helped spearhead it and helped install laminate flooring ourselves over the over the winter break. But you know, the players are really responding to have an opportunity to just further their game. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do outside that you could never do inside. But there's also things that are specific and and you know fundamentals and and being able to see what's going on with the physical motion of your swing that you can do indoors. That um, you know, it's better than having the distraction of outdoors. And sometimes it's actually good to not see the ball flight and just be able to focus on, on what's happening with your swing and your setup and everything. And the indoor facility gives us a great opportunity to do that. First tournament out of the gate here in the spring. What are you looking for this weekend? I think the, the, the keys are going to be, you know, how we, uh, how we adjust to, you know, some of the short game. Um, you know, we've had an opp opportunity to do a lot of ball striking out there because the weather's been so nice. Um, you know, we've got to, gotten a chance to play a little bit. Uh, probably not as much as some of the schools there in Florida. 
but uh, I think the key is going to be that short game and just those touch shots, you know, getting the speed of the greens, uh, you know, take off, you know, a couple months from competition, uh, you know, that's where it's really needs to fine tuning and, and just being able to make those adjustments when we practice before the tournament tomorrow and, and uh, just be ready, you know, when we get close to the hole to, to finish it off. Well, Coach, thanks so much for uh, taking a couple of minutes of your time out with us as we get ready to start the spring season, and good luck. Thanks, Bill.